what? Here it says, drop the scooter three times to ensure the fold is well locked. And it actually has many warnings on it. But you only live once. I have put it on a max power and let's ride. Wow, and it goes. I'm a heavy dude at 100 kilos and this scoot is a little even too much aggressive. Let's switch to a medium power now. This scooter definitely feels more powerful than the original Xiaomi I had before. And this is straight out of a box, I did not do any unlockings or anything. Medium power feels just about right for a city cruising. The scoot has some suspension. It won't be as comfortable as riding an electric bike, but let's just put it this way. It hurts my legs less than the original Xiaomi. And it feels pretty solid too. There is no play in the folding mechanism or the steering wheel. Oh, and it comes with uh, run flat tires. So there are no tubes and no worries about puncturing a tire. Which was a real pain on the Kugo model I have tested last year. I got a flat actually riding uh, exactly the same bicycle path here. So I did not even put a video review on that scooter from the last summer. But this Microgo definitely feels way more solid than the Kugo or even the original Xiaomi scooter. So you can see there is a tiny suspension working in the front. And what? I have been riding for about 20 minutes now. And still my legs feel fine. Definitely an improvement over the original Xiaomi. So to sum up, I hate scooters, but I really can't complain much about this one. It is powerful enough even for a big dude like me. I mean, this is a first day riding micro go, but it feels way more solid than the original Xiaomi scooter and other copycats from China I have tested so far. It seems like micro go not only put the warnings, but actually fixed all main annoyances with common scooters like this. Whoops, so you can remove handles for easier transportation and storage. And I like how there is no play in the steering wheel. This is really well designed. As there is no play in a folding mechanism, again, just a good design. Puncture less tires too. I mean, a thumbs up for a micro go scooter, I can really recommend it. And I hate scooters. I ride my Fido e-bike daily. It is still way faster and more comfortable to ride. But if you are fixed and definitely want a scooter instead of an electric bike, then MicroGo definitely earns its recommendation. All links are in the video description below. And thanks for watching. Subscribe for more electric bike and scooter videos. And I will see you next one.